Hello, this is David from the Bookman in Orange, and I welcome you to Things Found in Old Books. In this book here, A Mingled Yarn, a seafaring book, we found this seafaring certificate. Yes, it's very, very official. Very official, very officious looking. And it says, to all sailors, wherever ye may be, to all mermaids, whales, and serpents, it goes on, greeting, know ye that Reed Gilmore has been remembered as a Y member, be it known that he has been honored by his presence, that Reed Gilmore gets to join the club, and it's signed by Davy Jones. Now, Davy Jones is a mythical character who is known for uh, bringing souls to his locker in the sea, the bottom of the sea. That's not to be confused with the Davy Jones of the monkeys. Well, this gentleman here in 1955 became a, a, a member. He took it proudly home, put it in this book here, and there it sat for 68 years. In this book here, a grand opera, we found this menu to a Laguna Beach restaurant, Laguna Beach, California, a fancy sea town. Uh, we found this dinner menu to the old Brussels, and it's it's from 1975, and it's talking about how they're under new management and they're going to bring it back to its former glory. Now, I went there uh, in about the 75, 76, took my girlfriend. You know, we got all dolled up and we were going to a nice restaurant. And we went to you know, park the car. And we come to the restaurant and we sit down and have a glass of water. <laughs> and, and uh, uh, you know, I look at the dinner menu, you know, we're a little chit chat over the table. I'm looking at the dinner menu, thinking about what I'm going to order. And I love a good steak. So I'm looking at the steaks. Filet mignon, eight ninety five. Holy smokes, eight ninety five. How am I ever going to pay for that? You know. And uh, I, what what is she going to order? I hope she doesn't order the steak because we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I mean, what does the steak cost now? Like uh, a filet mignon, probably a nice restaurant. What ten, twelve dollars? Seemed incredibly high. And finally, in this book here. The Poet and the Machine. We found this young poet made us right there a little photo booth of 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 her of herself. She basically didn't move at all, didn't move a muscle, but I can tell you can look closely and you can see that I thought maybe at first it was just the same picture over and over and over again, but no, she's she's there. You can see her kind of shifting just slightly and and I, I was thinking, you know, you know, whenever I did a photo booth, by the, by the fourth picture, you know, you're going, <laughs> she, she wasn't having that. No, she was just going to do the same thing for all four poems. So that's what we got today. And I want to thank you for stopping by. Good day.